Zell Boy Army, what is going on? It's your boys alone. This my spicy friend back here, Mr. Ain Zahara. We're here today with a video where we review every single team of the year and then get in the game. All 12 of them. I've not used every single one of them, but I've played at 2200 skill rated rivals against all of these. I've used quite a lot of them as well from my own team to draft. So I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what they all are like. And we will talk about the players. I will look at the prices, see who's worth the best value. Yeah, we'll have a look and see what we think of the TV is. Thank you for everyone who's been supporting the videos recently. I'm really trying to grind YouTube, put out good quality content that you guys like. I'm going away on Friday um, to prepare for the Club World Cup tournament in the professional FIFA scene. But I will be putting out videos every week. They still I'm going to be preparing them ready to go for you guys. Uh, please check the links in the description. I stream every single day over on Twitch at Zalonius92. And me, Jambu, and FIFA Analysts have set up a Patreon. So where you can support me, get more in-depth access to me, join the underdog gaming community that we've set up on Patreon. That's where you can support me but also improve a lot of the game and get lots more in-depth um, gameplay advice, looking at your team, things like that. So I appreciate it. Okay, let's get on with the video. Okay, so Allison, he's the first team of the year. Allison, it's the cheapest team of the year, but it is a keeper. His stats are obviously crazy for a keeper. That speed is honestly really quick as well. Like, the main thing you'll probably notice on this card is the speed on one on one to be even quicker than most keepers. But the extra stats, you just don't really notice them because keepers get plus 10 on chem styles anyway with basic chem style. I've played against this Allison quite a bit. <clears throat> he seems slightly better. Slightly better than normal Allison. If I use the 90 Allison in my team, is like 50k. This card, not worth it. Just you just don't need a team of the year keeper on this game. It's just the difference isn't noticeable. Okay, if you've got a 20 million coin team, great, go for it. But you don't really need it that desperately. We'll get the defense all set up. Where's Virgil? First 99 centre back ever on the game for team of the year. That is might even be the first 99 centre back ever as well. Let me know in the comments if you know. The lip, the Dutch pairing. Who would have thought that Holland would go from uh, okay, I'm gonna put Trent would go from Ron Vlaar and Mathieson to De Ligt and Van Dijk in ten years? Okay, Robertson. Instantly, the skill moves and weak for a bit of a letdown. I don't know. I'm not c completely convinced on this card. I don't think it's a bad card. Obviously, no team of the year is going to be a bad card, but at 94, I think, let me, I'll get footwears up so I can check price of these as we're doing it. Let's have a look. Robertson. Robertson is 839k. Now, for 839k, you want an absolute game changer. And yes, he's brilliant. Possibly the best left back in the game at the moment. But like Mendy, Mendy's A will still do a very good job. He isn't that strong, this Robertson. He's got the aggression, which is really nice. If he had four star, four star, I'd probably say he's there or thereabouts worth it. Obviously, if you're a Liverpool fan or you want a top, top left back, I'd recommend him still. But I'm just not sure he's good value at that price. <clears throat> okay, Virgil, the best centre back in the game right now. There's no doubt about that. He's incredible. He's got solid work rates. He can link to flashback Louise. He can link to Allison or either of the. Um, <clears throat> we can link to any of the defence because he's Dutch. He also has the um, links to Cruyff Hullet, which is useful. Six foot four, which is great for centre back. Solid weak foot. He's rapid like that. Is crazy how fast he is. I'm using the 88 for run at the moment, who feels incredible how quick he is. And this Van Dijk's even quicker. He can even shoot. His passing's insane. He's very good on the ball. Obviously, his defending and physicals are great. Let's check his price out, though. 
2.8 million. Okay, that is a luxury at centre back. He is the best centre back in the game. Simple as that. I'm not having any debate about that. But at that price, I'm just not sure I can justify that on a centre back. TB is generally aren't going to be great value because they're the top end cards. Van Dijk will change your defence to be fair and he is an absolute monster. He's horrible to play against. I don't think it's awful value but I don't think it's good value either. Now to lit. I think this card's pretty decent value actually. One of the better ones. Yeah, 900k which obviously not cheap but he links strong links to CR7. He links to Van Dijk. He links to Hullet, Cruyff, Alexandra. Um... I think that's pretty solid itself. He's got decent links. He's really quick. Not quite got the acceleration of Van Dijk. He's unreal on the ball again. His passing's insane. And then obviously he's defending physical, just like Van Dijk's insane again. I feel like this is probably, if not the best, one of the best value team of the years. He's just not that easy to fit if you've got a trailer. I have flashback Louise foot this Mendy so I'm struggling to fit him into my team but he's horrible again to play against and for 900k to have a top centre back I think mean, that's really good value I'd recommend this card Trent I've used this card and I just I don't know it didn't feel like the stats I don't know why Trent doesn't have 4 star skill moves the weak foot was nice but in game this Trent has like a skinny uh, body type and with that strength for the skinny body type he didn't feel strong or aggressive. He got bullied a lot of the time by people. His passing was special. Like He was unreal on the ball with his passing. His dribbling does not feel like that in game. It didn't feel as good as that in my opinion. Um, what's his price? I feel like he's even more expensive than DeLitt. Yeah, he's a million. I think there's enough good fullbacks in the game that I wouldn't be spending a million on Trent unless I had the absolute best team in the game. Not worth it in my opinion. Uh, it's 4 for three, three, isn't it? Kante. Uh, Kante. De Bruyne. De Bruyne is one of my favourite players on the go. I might be a bit biased when we start talking about Kevin. Okay. We'll start with Frankie. A lot of pros are using him in their team. I think this card's pretty good value, if it's, if I remember right. Oh, he's gone up a bit. 1.6 mil. I still think that's good value for how good this card is. His only real issue for me is his weak foot. He can do everything else. Freestyle weak foot when he's as good at dribbling as he is, still is very usable. He doesn't really have a weakness. He has three stats below 80. Free kicks and penalties being two of them. Who cares? Headed, who cares? It's irrelevant on the game. So then, he barely has... He has, other than that, he has one stat below 85, which is 84 long shots. He's absolutely incredible. He has pretty good links. Semedo, Messi is a very good right-hand side you can link De Jong with. He obviously links to the Dutch icons. Van Dijk, De Ligt. Incredible card. Really good value, I think, when you count in the links. Um, lots of pros use him. He's so strong, quick, do everything. I use this card for about 100 games. I really like him. Okay, De Bruyne. How much is he at the moment? 2.7. Obviously with him, compared to Frankie, you get in the high height and five-star weak foot. Five-star weak foot alone's crazy. He's a bit quicker. He is insane at shooting. I used this guy at camp for a few hundred games. He was unreal in terms of how clinical it was. Every chance King Kev gets, he puts in. A slight disappointment was he didn't feel that special on the ball. His dribbling's very good. I didn't put a dribbling boost on. I put a hundred on because I wanted to up his finish a little bit and max that pace. And even when I tried to Kev star for his dribbler, I don't know. I feel like he's he just his body type feels a little bit clunky. He did feel very strong and aggressive though. At 2.7, I think it's okay value. I don't think it's great value because he's not easy to link into teams. Like Frankie's 
one point two million cheaper. You don't get the weak foot, but he's got everything else, and he's really easy to link. De Bruyne's not easy to link. His best strong link is Aguero or Mares, with, or maybe Walker. But I just didn't really like the how hard it was to link De Bruyne into teams. Kind of messed up my chemistry. I love the card, but he's a little bit clunky. And I feel it's a little bit expensive for how much um, how much hard it is to link him in. Okay, Kante. Now, Kante is a very easy one to link in. He obviously links to the Prem players, but then he's French. French is really useful in the game. I wouldn't be using him <coughs> at camp, because that strength and the long shooting finish isn't quite top tier. But he can play centre mid or CDM. Obviously, the weak foot as well, not the best in the attacking positions. At a CDM or centre mid, he is incredible. He's got great work rates. At CDM, he is one of the most annoying players I've ever played against on FIFA. He just wins everything. It's crazy. And from deep, he can still finish when he gets chances. Um, that 99 aggression, you really notice. It's positioning from the defenders, as you can see. It's crazy. You really do notice that as well. Um, he's rapid. He can dribble amazing. His passing is very good. 2.2 mil with pretty easy links. I think he's a good value CDM. I'd be choosing him over uh, Vieira. I think he's better value than the 88 Vieira. Even though Vieira is cheaper and got the icon links, I just think this candidate is incredible. One of the best players I've seen on this year's game. Okay, Mane. Bit of Killian and Mbappe now. The moment I'm using, you can see Mbappe and Messi. I use them in the 4 2 3 1 as a striker and a cam. Mane. I use this guy quite a lot. Hated him. One of the most underwhelming cards I've ever used on FIFA. Four star, four star. I genuinely think this card might be glitched. It does not play whatsoever like these stats in game. He misses chances, he doesn't feel strong. Okay, he feels quick, but so does normal Mane. His passing felt awful. I really w worry that the team near Mane is for some reason performed just like the gold Mane. I know it sounds crazy, but I just do not notice the apparent stat boost that the team that he has. I wouldn't be going near this guy. I'll never use him again unless he suddenly seems to change. Mbappe. Now, I'll say with these team of the years, I don't think you're going to get good value on the attackers. But you're going to get some crazy cards. Great work weights. Five star skill was very nice. The weak foot's fantastic. And then, well, the stats are just crazy, aren't they? I still think team of the... Teenagers, attackers aren't as good as R9. The 94 R9, literally the weak foot alone, is so big on attackers. The four star weak foot, they can still finish good chances, it's just not completely consistent. This Mbappe is glitchy though, like he's so strong, bullies defenders, he can do everything. Fantastic card, pretty easy to link with the French and Neymar. I really like him, you can see he's got pretty good goal contribution, a lot of those are quits as well, so like. 52 goal contribution and probably more close to 30 games. Really like this card, but he's very expensive. Messi, I would say, is the best cam on the game at the moment. Uh, how much is he? So Mbappe was 4.5. Messi's like 3.7. 3.66. Not bad. I think that's actually decent value considering he can link to that Frankie or Sabeda. Um, and obviously Argentinian players like Aguero, Latar and Mardis, who I hope gets a future star. Very good work rates. The stamina's fixed. It's stupid that Messi has 87 strength, but you notice it. He feels really strong. His dribbling is insane. He's the best dribbler I've seen on the game this year. His shooting's crazy. His finesse shots were unreal because he has the long shoot, shooting, the power, the finishing, and the trait. He feels quick. He do not feel quite as quick as Mbappe, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about that. His passing's as good as it gets. Very, very good card. I don't think that's that bad value. I think he's better value than Mbappe and uh, Mada. And least but not last, the 12th man. The money grabber for a year. I think this is the most expensive team of the year. Yeah, jeez. 5.7 million. But what a card you get. I didn't like normal CR7 that much on this game. Hedden's useless, so he wasn't very good at that. And he felt a little bit clunky. And his shooting was good, but like didn't feel that great anything else. But this card, I've not used him. 
I've played, I actually might use him in a draft, but I'm not using my action team. I've played against him a lot. He is insane. I hate playing against him. With that strength and aggression and reactions, he just wins so much stupid stuff, man. When I'm playing against pros using him, the amount of goals I've conceded where I've defended it perfect and CR7 just bumbles his way through and finds a way. This card is insane. Other than R9, I'd probably say he's the best attacker on the game right now. He's rapid. He wins everything in the air. His passing's very good. He doesn't feel clunky because his dribbling and agility are so high. His shooting's obviously absolutely crazy. Feels strong. Insane card. Not the easiest to link, but you can still link him to Delit or Eusebio, which is quite nice. In a top tier team, I'd definitely be looking to get him in. Fantastic card. The team near this year, I think, is pretty good. I don't. I think the value across the board is mixed. Um, the best value player, I'd say, was probably Delit, then Frankie, then probably Kante, then Messi. The worst value, I'd probably say, is the two fullbacks, Robertson and Trent, because I don't think they're that good. Then I'd probably say Mane and De Bruyne. Mane shouldn't be bad value, but I just think he plays awful. And a lot of pros that I've talked to have used him say they don't think he seems to be as good as he should be either. Um, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed that video, boys. Thank you for checking it out. Lots more content coming your way. Tomorrow we're going to have a video about how to press. So I did a bit more of a defensive tactic formation the other day. Tomorrow's video is going to be 4-4-2, pressing tactic, how to be really aggressive, good formation tactic for coming from behind. Really appreciate the support. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Like the videos, it lets me know you're enjoying the content. Boys, really appreciate the support. Have a great day and keep it spicy.